What's up, everybody? You know what time it is. It's a little after 12 o'clock. It's time for the most exhilarating, electrifying, most watched cooking show out there right now, everybody. So go ahead and kick those tires, light the fires. It's time to get it started with my main man. Wow, wow. That's right. Wow, wow. The bailiff of barbecue. Wow. The father of flavor, Real. the sultan of smoke, Real. Real. number nine Real. Real. on the court, but number one in your heart, Real. your barbecue dad, Jody Flanagan. Do, 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 What's up, America? That's right, it's Fun Day Friday. We're having an amazing day already. Beautiful weather. We've got Labor Day coming up, um, a.k.a. the unofficial end of summer. Gosh, it came and went. We didn't have too many 100-degree days here at the Rec Tech yeah, Worldwide Headquarters. It was warm, though, Jody. It was warm, but it wasn't that bad. I mean, I was melting like a Hershey bar. It has been worse, it's correct? It's true. That's true. It has been worse. All right. Well, guys, can you, he can you see me? Can you hear me? Let me know. Put it in the comment section down below. This is Fun Day Friday, presented by Rec Tech. We do this every Friday at 12 noon, Eastern Standard. Never miss a Friday. Uh, we've been doing it for years now. Yeah. It's the number one watched it cooking is. show it is out there out there on facebook i mean, I mean it's I, humbling we've had the food network approach us and try to get us to come on there and do that the, you know we, we just don't shout out food network shout out, food shout network. out to, what's the other one cooking channel cookie channel cooking that's channel. right hey uh, uh where is your little buddy today though yeah so uh greg he uh he is not with us today i'm jody flanagan barbecue dad and normally as always is <laughs> chef greg muller director of culinary innovations but greg has taken the weekend off, That's a well-deserved right. weekend off. So we will see him bright and early uh, on Monday. No, we won't because we're closed. Boom! Yeah, boom! Hey. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a federal holiday. It's actually been a federal holiday since 1894. Can you believe that? Americans have been celebrating it since 1894. Oregon was the first state to make uh, Labor Day a holiday. Boy, is, that is the first time I've heard a train during Fun Day yeah. Friday as well. That's not the that's not the midnight train to Georgia. No, uh, uh John was on it last night, and if you guys missed uh, late night munchies, you missed a good one. Oh, we had fun. Puff pastries. Yeah. Well, what did you call it? A little Danish, a little strawberry and cheese Danish. Oh boy, uh, he wrapped them up last night. We I had one this morning, and it was delish. Let me tell you, a little bit of a cappuccino, mm. a little espresso in mm -hmm, the morning, mm -hmm. eating that Danish get you going all right. Um, but as always, Chef John Pinnell on the ones and twos for Funday Fridays. Right. He's actually um, made up his own concoction here. I did. And he's going to tell us how he made it. But we're doing wings today. Celebrating Labor Day. Yeah, that was Jordan. He's excited about Jordan this wing. Jordan Johnson, Twitter <laughs> expert, is very excited. He's a wing connoisseur. Uh, he has brought all of his accoutrements. Uh, he's got a towel to taste, to wipe his mouth <laughs> with, wipe his hands with. He's ready. He's going to eat some wings today. But... Um, uh, it's Labor Day. Yeah. You know, we're celebrating uh, the resiliency of the American worker, uh, the achievements yes. of the American worker. Yes. So shout out to all, everybody out there. That's right. Working their butt off. That's right. And donating to the man each and every paycheck. We appreciate shout it. Shout out to That's all right. of the workers out there. Hey, speaking of workers, Jenny, how old were you when you had your first job? I, oh, man, I was either, I had to have been 16 because I remember taking myself to work okay um and it was win dixie oh win on dixie. columbia road <laughs> all right it is now a call center for something but it was win dixie on columbia road columbia road and bella road right shout uh, out win dixie shout out <laughs> um uh, cashier stock boy bagger cart getter did you ever make it a manager up there Dairy manager, maybe? I made it to manager of Christmas because I was Santa Claus uh -oh. one year at the photo booth. Wow. That's right. Ladies loved me at the photo mm -hmm. booth. Oh, I bet. Not the ladies that came to the photo booth, but the ladies working at the photo booth. Very kind. <laughs> Thank you for making me the Santa Claus that year. Boy, but that's something that I think has gone away is grocery store Santa Clauses. I haven't seen one in a hot minute. You know, back in the day, 
you know, I know we're going off on a tangent, but back in the day when I was going to grocery stores during Christmas, there would be a, a Christmas, yeah. a Santa Claus at the grocery yeah, store. There was. Uh, so shout out to all the grocery store Santa Clauses. Whatever happened to that? I don't know. They just stopped doing it? They just stopped doing it, I guess. Man, they but I remember bring that taking back. a creepy picture <laughs> with an old man that smelled like cigarettes. And sitting on his lap. Uh, come on, kid. Yeah, come up yeah. on Santa's lap. Yeah, and it being, and they would print it before your mom got done shopping. That's right. So she, yeah, no, no. That's right. Um, but yeah, shout out to the American worker. Somebody does that for a living. That's awesome. Um, but we're celebrating Labor Day. All of our shows have been themed for Labor Day to get you guys ready for the holiday. Um, but today we're doing wings. I've already got some already cooked off, but we got some great wings here. Come on in here, Sherpa. I want to show everybody from our friends at Meat District. They're actually running a Labor Day promotion. It ends this weekend, so make sure you go to and check out Eat Meat District on all social media, um, especially Instagram and Facebook. But they sent us some awesome wings. We got some zesty ranch wings. We got some beer brined wings. We got some sweet and sassy. Ooh. That sounds good to me, um, that we've already cooked off, um, but I wanted to show you guys these awesome, awesome wings. They are pre-seasoned, pre-marinated, so all, they, all you got to do is put them on the grill and go. If you're super busy, uh, if you're a working family, um, if you're on the go always, this pre-seasoned wings, they do really, really well. Um, and again, they're, they're the smaller wings. They're not the giant turkey leg wings right. that yeah. most folks might get. John, what kind of you? I, I think you like the the large wings. I like the large wings. I like okay. them a little fat. I find they're a little juicier. Um, and w when you cook them on the rec tech, that skin still gets crispy. Absolutely. So I don't mind them Absolutely. a little thick. Uh, Jared, you got a lot of people out here sweet. that are talking about their their uh, first jobs. Okay, what uh, what what else we got? Uh, Nancy Evans said her first job was Opera Land theme park in Nashville. Oh, very cool. Uh, Stephen Williams said he was 12 years old. Bonanza Restaurant was his first jar sounds like a steakhouse that john greco says 14 years old uh farm work was his first one well i remember doing yard work and stuff way way earlier than that but yeah yard count. work and farm work are two totally different uh, things my friend uh, yard work is like cutting the grass and raking leaves farm work is like milking cows and baling baling hay, hay man i yeah. remember baling hay over the summer my, <laughs> i was a little i was a little chubby uh, my parents were like, yeah, we need to get you this job. And I went and bailed hay all summer and bulked up. Man, I used to date a girl back in high school named Kay Hay. <laughs> she was so nice. Sweet girl. It's a real sweet girl. Shout out to you, Kay. What's her name? <laughs> Kay Hay. Kay Hay. Okay, Kay Hay. That's right. right. All right. I feel you, John. But guys, smash that share button. Give us a like. Give us love. We're cooking on the RT590 today. Uh, we're rolling right along at 400 degrees. We're using some of these awesome awesome pre-seasoned pre-marinated meat district wings available at local stores near you um, but they're running a awesome promotion slash giveaway for labor day you guys can check that out go to their social media we're also sharing it on our pages as well uh, but they're giving away rt700s can you believe that can you believe no, that can i believe it that is awesome. Speaking of giving away, if you guys missed uh, After Hours, Ray came on there the other night and told us to give away a bullseye. That's right. Wasn't that crazy? That was pretty cool, right? Yeah, he always does that, though. He'll pop on, and you never know. He's a crazy maniac. Yeah. All right. Now, I'm uh, making an example right here, ladies and gentlemen. You can see I've had this lid open for a hot minute now. All right. When I go to close this lid, more than likely the grill is going to rise in temperature and probably rise past our set point. Now, why is that? Is because I, allow, I left the lid open a little too long and I let all of the heat out. Therefore, when the grill takes a reading, it thinks it, that it's doing something wrong and it's gonna feed more pellets into that fire pot. Well, therefore, it's gonna go up in temperature and may go above your set point, but don't worry, close your lid, walk away, come back in about 10 minutes and that grill's gonna be right uh, where you set it at, right where you want it. But again, shout out to our friends at Meat District, hooking it up with the delicious wings. You know, they also got, we also uh, have had their tri-tips, their burgers, their bacon-wrapped tenderloins. They've also got sausage. Um, delicious, delicious um, mixtures and concoctions that they have. John, you got a good question for everybody? Yes, okay, they want to know about these wings. Like, what flavors do you prefer? Have you tri you've tried a lot of them, yep. right? I like the beer brine for sure, and then uh, the zesty ranch. Those are going to be top two favorites all time. 
uh, hands down, some of the best, absolutely. Um, but they've got, I think they have five to six flavors. Um, so you've uh, definitely got some to choose from. You can check them out, uh, Meat District. Uh, and I believe all their social media is eatmeatdistrict.com. So check that out. Yep. And they're, uh, again, they're giving away 700s. So. That's awesome. But any other good questions out there, John? They are asking about products. When are pro they're asking about when products are going to be restocked in, uh, uh, online. Where can they go to find out about new products, products being reloaded up in there? Absolutely. You can go to rectech.com and sign up for the newsletter. Scroll all the way down to the bottom of any home page. Put your email in there. Check all the boxes, uh, and you will sign up for all of our emails. You'll receive updates. You'll receive uh, products. Uh, you'll receive... Um, behind the scenes news recipes and if you want this recipe and all the other recipes from the rest of the week you can go to rectech.com forward slash lunch break and sign up for those as well john you got another good question yes uh temp and pellets that we're using today all right so uh, today we're actually using the maple maple uh, Kingsford maple pellet today, giving you that little bit of sweet, little bit of fruity flavor. Um, it'll make these flavors of wings pop out of here. So we're doing wings, 400 degrees. We're probably going to cook it for about 45 minutes. I like to get above that internal temperature of 165. Um, the 175, 180 range is probably where I like it most. Um, and a lot of folks are saying, oh, you're going to dry it out. No, I promise you, you won't dry it out. Closer to the 200 is going to be dried out, um, but don't worry about that. Again, 400 degrees is going to take probably about 30 to 45 minutes, okay? I've already got some uh, ready already. We're going to talk sauces right now. I've got here a delicious peach barbecue sauce. What I did was I took my favorite maple uh, or, um, you know, the dark, thick barbecue sauce. I took that. Um, which we used the Blues Hog Smoky Mountain, okay? And I did one, uh, two parts of that barbecue sauce to one part peach preserves, okay? I heat it up over, um, you can put it in the cast iron skillet, heat it up, blend it all together, and then I put a little bit of garlic powder mm. in there that'll kind of balance everything out between the se sweet sweetness of both uh, that garlic powder seems to really balance everything out for me so two parts of that maple barbecue sauce one part peach preserves sometimes if you want some heat you can use delicious uh peach pepper jelly as well um, um but uh, you mix those together and then you get this delicious glaze type sauce that we have here mm -hmm. also got some normal barbecue sauce secret stuff that we have right here that we're going to use for this weekend uh, I also have some delicious buffalo garlic. This recipe can actually be found uh, when we did ribs four ways. So you're looking for the buffalo garlic sauce. When we did ribs four ways, we're also going to season some wings up with that as well. Um, but don't ever think it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We've already got some done. I've been uh, keeping them warm in the RT700 right over yeah, here. boy. There we go. Again, we reached an internal temperature of about 175. These wings are not dried out. They do have a good crispy skin on the outside. You can hear that mm, skin when it hits the bowl. Uh, give us a smash that share button. Give us a like. Give us a love, everybody. So these warm still. I'm going to glaze these up. Okay. Yes. And again, you need bowls when you're doing any kind of wings, any kind of sauces, or anything like that. Because why? Because this is fun. This. It's fun to do for mm -hmm. me. I can do this in my sleep. Uh, <laughs> but it also gets you that even coverage that you want without mm. making a giant, huge mess. All right, so we got that delicious peach barbecue sauce on there as glaze. What we're going to do is we're going to do something a little bit different today. Um, where did them stick-resistant cooking mats go? Did we bring any out? Can you grab me one, Charlie? While Charlie's bringing that stick-resistant cooking mat, because that's what we're going to cook these wings on. Yeah. All right, I've got them all tattered up here with this delicious barbecue sauce. It's super sticky, because okay. again, we've got the preserves in there. Um, super gelatinous. So it's gonna be perfect for what we're about to do. I've got some pre-cooked bacon right here. Yeah, you do. Not, cr not too crispy, but also not too raw as well. So I'm gonna take our oh. sticky, icky wings here. Oh no, yeah. I'm just gonna cover it in bacon, okay? I like where your head's at and with this, And we're going to use 
that stick resistant cooking mat to kind of, oh, thank you, Chale. Available at rectech.com, yes, stick resistant right. cooking mat. So we're going to set it on here just like so. And again, we'll take our sticky tacky barbecue wing here. We'll press some of that bacon on there. And we'll make bacon crusted barbecue wings. What about you, John? What kind of wing is your favorite wing? Any kind of wing you're making, bro. That's okay. my favorite. That is my favorite. Hey, top fan Kevin Bomber asks, What's up, he Kevin? just ordered his smoke box for his 700. Sweet. Does he need to burn it in, and what should his first cook in it be? Absolutely, absolutely. We definitely suggest burning it in. Set the grill to about 500 degrees, Kevin. Let, uh, let it run for about, you know, an hour. Uh, and that's going to burn off any residual oils that may have been left during the manufacturing process. It's going to make it safe to eat off of. Um, and I would cook some chicken thighs in the top of that bad boy. With the grill set at about, 400, about 450 degrees. That way you uh, drip some grease down in there. And uh, you get it good and seasoned up. Yeah, that's great. But then after you get it good and seasoned, you know, you can explore with summer sausage. You can smoke cheeses. You can smoke nuts in there. You know, there's, you know, John is famous for his holiday smoked nuts. Oh yeah. Uh, if you guys People didn't come know far that, and now you know. Nuts. He's That's got true. some deliciously, deliciously smoked and salty nuts. Yeah, sweet and savory. Absolutely. For sure. Jerry, we have Wrap another. Wrap your lips around that. Am I right? right? Yeah, suck them right up. Hey, oh, we uh, have another question from our top fan, Debbie Carney. She asks, "How do you get the old pellets out to keep changing up the flavors?" Uh, so what I do, Debbie, is I don't fill the grill up 100% all the time, and I like to empty my pellets out. I let the grill cycle everything out for me. Um, so if I get really, really low, I know when I dump new pellets in there, that very next cook, after the grill warms up, it's going to be actually burning those new pellets, and you're good to go. It's actually good uh, to let your grill run empty of pellets every three to five bags. That way you can reduce the amount of dust buildup at the bottom of your auger. And that dust buildup can do a couple of different bad things. It can um, cause bridging so the pellets don't fall. Uh, it can actually auger that dust instead of pellets, which both of uh, those things will give you temperature issues. Um, but it, uh, you know, it can, it'll also prevent burnbacks because that dust can line that auger tube. Um, so emptying out your... Uh, hopper of pellets every three to five bags is a good thing to do. Another good question, John? Yes, we have a question from Matt McKay. He Come says, does changing the feed rate uh, make more smoke? Absolutely not. The changing the feed rate only affects how the grill runs under 250 degrees, essentially, at low, low temperatures, okay? That is literally the minimum feed rate. That is all, all it does, okay? It, it, we definitely suggest not changing your minimum feed rate. We definitely suggest running the grill um, like it comes. Man, that looks so good. Because it's set for everyone across the United States. And again, I've never had a grill that I have actually had to adjust settings in. None of these grills have ever had the settings adjusted to them. Um, so definitely try the settings as they were because, I mean, we've been doing this 10 plus years. That's and right. We hadn't got it wrong yet. That's so. right. That's right. But well, shout out to everybody watching. We're doing wings. This is a Labor Day cook. That's Go right. get your wings now. They're likely on sale um, or likely not on sale and super expensive. Hey, speaking of wings, uh, Jody, Aaron Mills has a question for you. Yep. Aaron says, We're going to put these in this 700. You're not making your world famous Daytona wings that you created? No, we got to mix it up. Everybody's already seen the boring Daytona wings. So, uh, <laughs> we're doing, I would much rather do bacon crusted wings because I haven't seen that out there on the internet. True. I guarantee you, somebody's going to do it and say they invented it. Um, but you, you saw it here first, right? Yeah, saw it here first. Saw it here first. Again, this barbecue sauce. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I wanted to do a peach barbecue sauce. I wanted to celebrate Georgia. Yeah. Georgia. Celebrate these delicious peaches that are in season. Georgia. The little, the little fuzziness that's on them. So again, mm. two parts, your favorite maple barbecue sauce, dark brown, the thick stuff, the stickiest of the icky. And then one part, peach preserves, okay? Mm -hmm. You want to heat it up over about medium heat. You do not want to burn it. Once everything melts together and mixes together, mix in a little bit of garlic powder easy peasy lemon squeezy keep it like that makes it super super tacky super super delicious 
That looks great, dude. Son. Mm. Mm. I just love that, that peach sweetness. It just reminds me of summers in Georgia, which, again, Labor Day, the official end of summer. I can't wear white. That's right. Unofficial end of summer. I can't wear white after today, ladies. After Monday, you can't wear white. Um, but shout out to everybody watching. Again, we've got winners to announce. That's right. John spun the wheel of Rec Tech last week. It landed on an RT590. 590, buddy. Right? That was a good spin. And again, uh, Ray came on after hours and has given away a bullseye. All you have to do is go and watch that video. Okay? Read the comments. I tell you exactly what to do in the comment section down below. Right when we announce the contest. Um, so look for that. You can win yourself a RT B380 bullseye. Unattainable right now. Available at rectech.com very, very soon. Sign up for the newsletter. That's how you can find out when the bullseyes are available. John, you got a great question? Yeah, top fan. Happy Friday, John. Happy Friday to you. We made it, Jody. Well, it really doesn't stop for you and me, though. No, we're we going to keep cop. pushing straight through the weekend. That's right, we cop. got a work weekend. That's right. What are we doing, John? We are cooking at Banjo BQ. We came to play. Right. We came to win. That's right. This is our only local barbecue That's contest it. throughout the year. Yeah. Except and the for only in Aiken. One, and the only one without Greg, too. That's right. Greg so is just, out of town. Out so of we, town. Are, we are balling out. Yeah, we're just trying to beat are, last year's scores. That's all we want to do. Uh, well, now, I want to bring home some trophies. Well, of course, John. That's you what know, it, Ebony that's what and all, Ivory are going in full force. That's what all winners want to do. You know? We want to bring home a trophy. But, yeah. again, if we do better than we did last year, we're making an improvement. We're going in the right okay, direction. All right. That's a good attitude. Positivity. I like the positivity. You know? All right. Our top uh, fan, uh, where to have it? Right here. They ask about... Uh, Benson asks, should you vacuum the dust from the hopper too? Mm, mm, mm. I don't like vacuuming because that dust gets very, very fine. And it can kind of mess up your shop vac if you don't keep up on the maintenance of your shop vac like I do. Um, so I like to just knock it down there to the bottom and let that corkscrew actually auger it into the fire pot. And uh, the grill's running. It's actually going to burn it up really quickly. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Some folks like to spray it out. Uh, with compressed air. Some folks like to suck it out. Some folks like to let it go through the thing. It doesn't matter. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Just knock it down. Get it out of there. Okay? Get it out of there. Get it out of there, Jody. And again, you want to clean your fire pot about every three to five cooks. Why? Because it's all about airflow, ladies and gentlemen. That very that sp that fan. I'm about to call it a variable speed fan. I'm trying to talk about uh, <laughs> the wild side over there. But that fa that blower fan that spins 100% of the time, it requires airflow. Okay? That flame requires airflow. It needs oxygen to breathe. It needs oxygen to make itself a flame once the grill lights itself. Um, so that, it's all about airflow. You've got to keep good, clean airflow. If your fire pot gets dirty, it can cause a couple of different temperature issues. So it's all about airflow. Good question, John. Yes. All right. Time and temp one more time. And the space bracket on the bullseye, what is, exactly is that for? Um, to maximize airflow. Very good question as we're talking about airflow. It's all about airflow, ladies and gentlemen. Um, sometimes when you're cooking on the bullseye a lot like I do, uh, you may get the vents on the back clogged up. Okay? I do that all the time. Why? Because I cook a lot on it. It's my weekday workhorse. I cook four to five times on it. If those get clogged up um, and it restricts airflow, that spacer is there to prevent the grill from fully closing down and locking down and forcing all of the airflow out of the hopper. Okay? So that extra spacer is uh, just uh, for extra airflow that the grill needs to get up to that 749 degrees that you see these, uh, all of these bullseyes getting at. Speaking of bullseyes, I'm going to throw some more of these Meat District delicious uh, wings on the grill here. Cooking on the RTB380 as well. I'm sitting at 500 on the bullseye right now. These will take probably about 20 to 30 minutes to cook okay now if you're gonna put them all in the center they're gonna take a little while longer why is that because the deflector plate is perforated on the edges and not perforated there in the middle but the, you can smell these wings they smell absolutely amazing they got good color they're marinated and seasoned well you don't have to worry about putting any other seasonings if you want to you can if that's how you live your Rectech lifestyle but again, we're sitting at 500 degrees on the RTB380 Bullseye. Today for Funday Friday, cooking wings, celebrate Labor Day. We're announcing a 590 winner. Ray's That's giving right. away a bullseye. That's right. Cheese and crackers is a good day. We're cooking wings with bacon on them, Jordan. <laughs> Cheese and crackers. Uh, jo uh, John, you got a good question. Yes, I got a good question from our friend Dennis Perry. He asked, 
Does it hurt the RT700 to run the pellets dry? Will it shut no. off automatically? It, it will actually shut off automatically, yes. So if you're cooking in the middle of the night and you fall asleep and you don't set your alarms or anything like that and your grill runs empty of pellets, yes, it will eventually shut itself down and you will receive an error message uh, letting you know that your grill, you know, uh, A, lost fire. Um, so yes, it will shut itself down. It will not hurt itself. Uh, so don't worry about uh, doing that. And again, um, it's good to let it run itself empty of pellets. That's good maintenance to keep up with for sure. But John, what kind of sauce do you have here? Okay, I got a little tricky, tricky sauce well, right here. Get on here, over Jerry. here. Switch it to the to the big guy. Okay. So what I did was I just took some whole butter. And uh, let me get over here. Get on over I'm here, big over guy. Here. Everybody, Chef John Pinnell, hey! give him a big round of applause. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hello. How are you guys doing? Hello. All right. So Jody asked me to make a wing sauce. So what I did, it was real simple. I just took How some. How simple is it, John? So, so simple. I just took <laughs> some butter, melted it down. I took uh, about two tablespoons of garlic um, paste, which is just ground garlic. Uh, about two tablespoons of ground ginger and okay. two tablespoons of lemongrass. Okay, okay. Put that in the butter and let that just start to ooze around and get real comfortable with each other. Butter. Yeah, Salted, butter. unsalted. Unsalted. Oh, oh god. And then I went and dropped some of that chili paste in here, stirred that around, a little bit of that smoked salt Chef Greg made the other day, and that's it. Smoked salt? Okay. Yeah, a little All right. bit. So, so we're just going to, is this my bowl? Please. Okay. Dirty we're up two bowls. We're just going to pour a little in here. Right? He's got some great color on him. Thanks thanks to that Kingsford maple pellet. Uh, got some beautiful brownness. Ooh, Mahogany I color. I love that brown color. I know you're a fan too, Jody. I am. I love brown. I know you do. All right, so we just give those a toss. Look at that. Now, you tasted that sauce earlier. You I know, did. It was really good. It's good, right? Really good. Not not like Italian dressing as I thought it would look like yeah, as it tastes like. Yeah, that's what you said, Italian dressing. Look also got some buffalo garlic. Like I said, guys, check out our Ribs 4-Way Fun Day Friday celebration, and you can find that buffalo garlic uh, sauce that we made. That's what these wings are getting tossed in. Mm. Man, and this is a great way to present your wings, too. Yeah. It looks absolutely amazing. So good. Here, I want you to try one of those. Okay. And tell me how it tastes, because they're about to come the off smell the grill. Is, the smell is divine. With bacon on them, mm. John. Mm. Mm. Oh. So again, peach barbecue sauce is good, isn't it? Really I knew that was good. good. I knew it was gonna be good. I tasted it already. Wow, that's good, Jody. Yeah, you got a little bit of sweetness, not overly sweet. Mm. A little bit of heat. What else did you put in there? Because that is delicious. Crispy skin. Real crispy. Crispy skin. Mm -hmm. That's mm. how we like it. Stay mm. above. 300 mm. degrees, ladies and gentlemen, mm. if you want crispy skim. Um, moisture is the enemy of crispy. Mm. So um, take into account those two things, and you will have crispy skin. So always stay above 300. Um, it will prevent rubbery skin for sure. John, any good questions or yes. comments? They want to know, how do you clean the fire pot out in the bullseye? So uh, me, when I'm in my bullseye, I take everything out. I stick my hand, uh, I get a black nitrile glove. I stick my hand in there, I scoop out whatever little ash is in there, and I throw it at the bottom of the grill. Just clean it out of the fire pot. Now, when I start to, uh, my grill starts to mound up that ash at the bottom of the barrel, I'll uh, get like a scoop, a uh, paper plate, and I'll scoop it out really quickly. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Throw it down there on the ground, feed my grass with it. Did you know that you can do that, people? Your grass loves yeah. the acidity uh, that is in ash. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's totally Tomato true. Tomato plants love it, too. They love it. But we would put these back on the grill if we were going to serve them to folks, and we would let them um, glaze up and mm. encapsulate and soak mm -hmm. into that skin. Again, moisture is the enemy of crispy, so we're not after super crispy skin with these uh, because, again, we've got them doused in sauce. Now, let's check on these bad boys right here. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh, yeah. Now, those are our bacon Man, those dusted. things look good. Barbecue wings. Jordan would be proud if he could see these. He would. He's getting the – everyone says they see him back there, and he keeps getting a little closer and closer as the wings start to get yeah, done. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's salivating. Mm-hmm. Jody, our good friend Craig okay. Linhart asks, okay. what is your go-to Labor Day thing to cook for your friends and family? Uh, hamburgers. Hamburgers. Uh, hands down, got to be hamburgers. That is my go-to thing for Labor Day. 
um, we'll, I'll get some really, really nice uh, ground meat. Uh, I won't just get the regular stuff at the store. We'll get really, really nice ground meat. Um, probably do Juicy Lucy's. Mm, juicy uh, Lucy's. Or double, triple cheeseburgers. Something really, really melty. Really, really savory. Um, really, really filling. A lot of cheese. A lot of bacon. Yes, sir. You know. Um, but again, we got a barbecue comp this weekend, so we're going to be eating a bunch of barbecue. Bunch of barbecue. So that's why me and my family, we tend to go towards the burgers and chicken wings as opposed to the barbecue because we eat a lot of barbecue uh, throughout the year. But man, those look absolutely amazing. Looks kind of like a Jackson Pollock painting right now, but they, uh, they're going to taste absolutely <laughs> amazing. Again, what we did was we um, cooked them. On the RT 590, 400 degrees for about 45 minutes. They got an internal temperature of 175 degrees. We then um, put them in a bowl. We put our delicious peach barbecue sauce in there with them. We then um, sprinkled them with delicious bacon bits. Put them back in the grill. Let that sauce set. Let the bacon set on there. Uh, again, 400 degrees, about 10 minutes. Pulled them off. And we're going to let them rest about five minutes so we can actually physically eat them so they don't burn our lips. Mm -hmm. But easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Again, um, get to an internal temperature of about 170, 175. Go above that 165 um, that is recommended when cooking chicken, and you'll be absolutely fine. Um, me, I like to smoke them at about 325 degrees and then get my matador out. Yes. Put some oil in there, some yes. lard, some uh, delicious shortening. Yes. If you would, yeah. turn that bad boy on, uh -huh. fry them wangs, yeah. then toss them in sauce, mm. then fry them again, Die. and then serve them to my friends and relatives. So, Jody, when you fry them like that, when you smoke them and then you fry them, what temperature are you taking them up to when you smoke them before you fry them that first time? So, I'll get them to, uh, you know, that 145, 150-ish um, when, uh, when smoking them. Definitely getting as much of that smoke as possible. Uh, really hot oil, 375 degrees, and dunking them in there. Wait until they get that 175, 180, 185. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. as long as that skin is crispy, we're good to go. Yup. And then you dunk them in sauce, and then you put them back in, and then you pull them out again, mm. and then you sprinkle some dry rub on top of yeah. them. Yeah. Speaking of dry rub, did you? John, what? I got a question for you. Okay. What is Robert Kraft's favorite w wing flavor? Uh, Robert Kraft's favorite wing flavor? I do not know. What is it? Yeah. It's a, an Asian dry rub. Oh! All I can think about is Tiger Woods. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I wish I had my red shirt on for that one. You're welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Jordan Johnson, for that uh, dad joke. Jordan got that one for me today. <laughs> we really appreciate our Twitter expert. Um, but again, celebrating Labor Day, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us today for Fun Day Friday. I'm Jody Flanagan, Barbecue Dad. Uh, we're going to close it out by announcing our 590 winner. Congratulations yes. to this person. Again, uh, anybody who enters any kind of contest, just know that we will never reach out to you mm -mm. if you're a winner. Nope. Okay? We will announce you live, yep. and we will require you to reach out to us That's right. and send us a DM to confirm that it is you. Okay, um, So never click on any links or anything yeah. that any fake rec tech accounts may be posting. Okay? Right. Beware of the scammers. Scammers are out there, everybody. Haters going to hate. That's right. That's right. Let me pull these wigs off really quick because I know they're done. Jenny, what are you drinking today? You haven't today, said anything today about Today, our dad joke of the day was brought to you by Shinerbach Beer. Today, I'm drinking a delicious Ruby Redbird. It's a uh, grapefruit uh, sour beer, 95 calories, made in uh, Spotsil Brewing Company in Shiner, Texas. I love it. Shout that. out to Shiner Bach. There's nothing finer than a Shiner. Get yourself a Shiner beer. John, what are you drinking? I am drinking, you know, you're Thank never you too meet, good. There's thank no, you, Meat there's District, no, for these delicious wangs. Yeah, there's no law when you're drinking a white claw. You there's know no laws with the claws. That's right. That's right. That's right. Shoot, yeah, I'm shoot, I'm drinking yeah. a delicious ruby group grapefruit white claw today. Mmm. Refreshing. It's mm. hot out here, Jody. Mmm. Yeah. That's, uh, that's the sound I make when I eat my own food. Mmm, this is good. Mmm. <laughs> um, but we got a winner to announce. Quit yes. playing around, Jordan. The winner of the RT590 
man, looks he looks like a gentle giant. Oh yeah. He's got a brand. Looks like a brand new porch. Shout out to new porch owners. Yeah, shout out porch owners, Jody Flanagan. I got Barbecue a new porch. Dad. You got a new porch. Yeah, you guys you will be seeing it soon. I gotta pay for it somehow. Uh, <laughs> it looks like he has a couple of beautiful children. Not too much info on there. Just a picture. Okay, I like but that. But the winner of the RT590 that we gave away last week, you have to DM us. Um, hit us up with a direct message and say, hey, I'd love to claim my prize. Uh, if it's you, to the Rectech Facebook page, R E C T Q. That's right. Ex accept no uh, substitutions. That's right. It's not three words now, it's just one. One word. It's one word, Rectech R E C T Q. <laughs> Look at Deep getting All right. alive. He's so the player. winner of the RT590 after the suspense, Mr. Frank Potter. Hey! Right, Frank. Congratulations, Frank. Yeah. Hey, you got a new deck there. Looks like uh, he's got a big old deck too, boys. Yeah, he does. yeah, yeah. yeah. How's that boy? <laughs> um, but shout out Frank Potter. Congratulations, you're the winner of an RT590. The chef John actually spun the wheel and got gotcha. you. Spun that thing. So uh, make sure you uh, DM us on the Rec Tech Facebook page. We will make sure that it's you. We will get that prize headed out there to you. Congratulations. Uh, I don't want you guys to forget. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, we got Twitter live. Huh. Break the, it down to them. At, right after this. Break it down to them. Okay? Yeah. So you got to go right after this. You got to go to Twitter and hang out with Jordan for just a little bit. Just a little bit. Not long. Yeah, just he, a little he behind the scenes. He sticks and moves. Yeah. You know, just yeah. a little behind the scenes uh -huh. stuff. Um, mail day Monday. Mondays at 2 on Instagram. Backyard and Beyond Mondays at 4 on Facebook. Lunch break every Tuesday and Thursday at 12 noon Eastern Standard on Facebook and YouTube. That's right. Okay. Uh, there's Ask Us Anything. Tuesdays at 2 p.m. on Instagram. After Hours is Wednesday at 5 on Facebook. Product Spotlight every Thursday at 4. Yeah. And Chef John did a great job yesterday. Oh, uh, I tried to fill in for you. You're busy. Uh, late Night Munchies was last night Man, at 11 p.m. You made time. some delicious... Puff pastries? That's right. Jenny, when are you going to come on Late Night Munchies? That's what I want to I want to get you and uh, Becky on oh, some night. John. Come on. Why can't none day. None, none day. Why can't y'all come on out? It's just so late, John. We got two children. We'll find a babysitter. I know you got a beautiful mother-in-law that loves John. her it's grandbabies. It's so late. We'll sip on some scissor. So late. Come on. Um, but yeah, one day, one day. Okay. I'll be out of here next week, everybody. That's right. So... I'll be gone. You can still email me. You can still follow me on all social media, BBQ Dad Jody. Um, but I will be here Wednesday. Okay, good. I saw good. Jordan looking over there. He's like, <laughs> we have something planned. Uh, but I'll be here Wednesday to film some stuff uh, as well as do something else for work. So you're not taking the whole week off then? <sighs> I thought you needed some rest, bud. I do. I do. I, I know. I thought you bite. did. Look at these bags. <laughs> ah. um, but, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you share this video because that's the only way we get paid. Now it's time to spin the wheel. Yeah, spin that wheel. There's two rules spin to the, the wheel of wheel. Tech. What are they, Jody? The first rule is you got to spin it with the utmost confidence in yourself, that's a, right. a.k.a. hard as hell. That's right. Okay. Uh, rule number two is you got to spin it clockwise to the right. That's right. For to those the right. of you who can't read a clock. To the right, to uh, the right. I know there's digital ones now. Yeah, that's true. You know, that's true. Well, what, what kind of clock? What is that kind of clock called? Analog. Analog. Clock. I bet clock. the kids nowadays can't even read analog clock. <laughs> All right, so, so we're gonna put it on the item that we want to give away, and that's gonna be always an RT seven hundred. We want to give away the most expensive item on this board. We do have um, some new items though, Jody. We do. We've got the Dirty Girl bundle. There's a uh, ice or cooler ice or on there? tumbler. There's a hat. There's a cooler. Um, so that's awesome. We got some new, that's right. cool new prizes. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, if you want to win this prize, I'll tell you in just a second. Jordan, give me a countdown. <laughs> Three, two, two, one. Five. All right, oh, if you want to win this fly. awesome prize that this wheel lands on, you got to share this video, you got to like this video, and you got to comment down below, hashtag R-E-C-T-E-Q. And you will be entered in to win whatever this lands on. Well, we got a good spin going on here. Yeah, boys, you did a right? good job on that. Here it goes, Jody, though. Okay, thank y'all. Here it uh, goes. But, but shout out to the future winner. Oh, uh, it's coming back around. Uh, 700 coming back around. Yeah. Oh. Daddy Girl Bundle. Yeah. Hey, that's a good one. Hey, you get like uh, everything that they uh, that they sell, yeah. the margarita mix, the, all the Bloody Marys, the only aged olive juice on the market. That's right. Those two rimmers. It, the two rimmers? Yeah. Visit dgmixers.com. And I believe you also get the Dirty Girl Rub. 
yeah, as well the rub. with that. Mm-hmm. Um, Maybe so a shout shirt, out. too. A shirt. Yeah, let's give away a Dirty Girl shirt. Do yeah. they have any Dirty Girl shirts? I don't know. All right. Yeah, saying. John said it. Yeah. He he knows better. Yeah. We'll give him a shirt. <laughs> but we give him a Dirty Girl shirt, too. Yeah, there's got to be a Dirty Girl shirt laying around For here somewhere. For sure we got one. I know where there's a provocative mannequin laying around with Ooh. Dirty Girl items on it. Yeah, all kind of Dirty Girl stuff on Man, that thing. Dirty girl. When we get our HR person, she's going to look <laughs> at that thing and say, nope, get it out of here. Get it out of um, here. But shout out to everybody watching. Make sure you like this video, share this video, and comment below, hashtag RecTech, R-E-C-T-Q. Make sure you watch After Hours. You can find out how to win a bullseye. It's in the comment section. We also say it live about 10 times. Um, uh, what else? We're still doing half-off comp carts for RT700s and RT590s. If you purchase those grills, you will have the opportunity to purchase a comp cart for half-off. So Movie uh, night. Movie night. Don't forget about movie night. Every Friday night. Tonight is Shrek. Gates open at 6. Movie starts promptly at 7.30. Bring your friends. Bring your date. Yeah. Get out there in the parking lot and let guys. Yeah. Show your lady friend a good time. That's right. You know, it's supposed to cool down tonight. Uh-huh. You know? Are you going to be out there tonight, Jody? No, John. We're not going to. We're going to miss tonight. Are you sure? Because you said you were going to miss it the other I night. I did. I did. I you My up. wife is a huge fan <laughs> of movie night, which is great. Yeah. I love coming back up here. I know you No, do. I'm just joking. <laughs> um, no, the playground's awesome. It is. I've been knocking kids down yeah. left and right on that thing. They just cut the grass <laughs> out there so that grass is nice and short. It is ready to be run on. No, it's going to be beautiful. That mm -hmm. screen's so big. So big. Gosh. All right, enough rambling on. God bless you. God bless the United States of America. We'll see you at, at the, the Rec Tech. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Rec Tech Lifestyle. All Say right. It. Ron Ryan, Mike Kaufman, Rob Cusack, down. Justin Pass, Live Mike Ventry, what's up, Uncle Mark, Donald Bonk, Nate Walter, Michael do, Hitch, do, Coombe, do, do, Benson, Cudian, Bob do, Thayer, do, Bob, where's your beard at, Bob, Brandon do, Godden, do, John Bartles, Christopher Friends, do, do, Ron O'Donnelly, do, do, Mike Johnson, do, do, Charles Johnson, do, do, Tom Calder.